Which shows should you watch to start getting into anime? We already covered the platforms that you can use, the language preferences that you have at your disposal, and the very first anime recommendation, which to me was Avatar The Last Airbender. Ooh. Before you go crazy rage typing in the comments, make sure you check out that video first because there's a logical explanation. Logical. But let's move on. So you finished watching Avatar The Last Airbender and now we are diving headfirst into your first official anime experience. The answer to your question is simple. The next anime you're gonna watch is Spy Family. The manga was written and illustrated by Tatsuya Endo, and it's become one of the most popular anime and manga series worldwide. The Spy Family manga currently has over 29 million copies in circulation as of December of 2022. So as soon as the record numbers started hitting for the manga, there was a ton of hype and excitement for the anime adaptation, which came out last year. Before we continue, make sure you like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe with the Nori Bell on for more recommendations. Now then, I know what you're asking yourself, why are we choosing this show specifically? Number one, it's easily accessible. You can watch it right now on Hulu and Crunchyroll in Japanese with the English subtitles or with the English dub. And number two, and perhaps more importantly, it's easy to watch regardless of your experience level with anime. The show itself is animated as a collaboration between Wit Studio and Cloverworks, which you might know because they've previously worked on mega shows like Attack on Titan and The Promised Neverland. I'll give you the basic premise of the show with very minimal setup spoilers, but if you're somebody that doesn't like to know anything before diving into a show, you can come back at this point in the video. You ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. We are thrusted directly into a fictional world in which two neighboring countries called Westalis and Ostania are locked in a sort of diplomatic cold war, specifically because of a car bombing that ended up taking the life of a Westalis diplomat. After he's done sleeping with the fishes, How's it going? tensions rise and the fun begins. Specifically in the form of some major international espionage. From this conflict, we get introduced into our main characters, Twilight, Anya, and Yor. I won't spoil exactly how the family gets together, but everything you need to know is simple. Twilight is one of the spies. And after being tasked to finish a very important mission in the neighboring country, he has to find a family in order to blend in. As it turns out, building that family is the easiest part of the process. And from there, I'll leave the story up to you. So cool. Okay, we're back. Hopefully you didn't get too bored. So here's a cute picture of Anya for your troubles. Ever since the premiere of the anime, the show has been averaging between 6.9, nice, and 9.9 .9 million viewers, which is record viewership for any project of this scale, especially in Japan. I mean, this show basically spent all of 22 at the top of the leaderboards of every single viewing category. <laughs> to the extent that it actually became the most watched anime and the most watched television show in general in Japan. With the numbers out of the way, you should know that Twilight, Yor, and Anya's hijinks are well written. The family moments are super cute, the action is pretty well animated, and it's just an overall wholesome experience that everybody in your family can enjoy. There's only 25 episodes out right now, which is very minimal commitment. And it's also good news for you, because once you start watching, you'll be caught up with the rest of the community fairly quickly. Once you finish the show, let me know what you think of the story in the comments down below. And get ready because the next anime recommendation might be your newest favorite obsession. That's a wrap, baby. Let's fucking go.